Well, good morning. I uh, have the run of this place. It's about seven o'clock. The sun rose at 6.34. Dave and Nancy are off with a private guide. They went early, six o'clock, looking at birds. Monica returned to the airport. Our flight, our flight, all four of our flights were scheduled for tomorrow. And Air Lineas Argentina just canceled them without notice, said they weren't going to fly that day, sorry. And so Monica chose to leave today and Dave and Nancy and I are going to leave tomorrow. We're going to stay another day. So the guy that manages this place is <clears throat> driving Monica to the airport. It's about a two hour drive. This place is called San Sebastián de Selva. It's a, it's a privately owned nature preserve, principally birds. But there are some other animals here. The largest rodent in the world, the capybara, is fairly prevalent here. There are pumas, coatis other animals with unpronounceable names. It's a, it's, a, it's a nice place. It's a beautiful morning. It rained a little bit earlier. The grass is a little bit wet. The grass is also covered with these giant piles of capybara shit. You can see them everywhere. So I'm in my sandals, my flip-flops, so I'm going to walk carefully. This was a property that was owned by a, a wood carver and he developed the property and was a nature lover and he wanted to bring back some of the native species to this land that had been ravaged and he introduced a, a re-established native species here and then he sold it and it went to a nature photographer and he developed it further and he sold it to another nature photographer and well, the story goes on and on and on. But the bottom line is it's now a private reserve where people come to stay. They have little cabanas, cabins, they're very nice. And uh, all the meals are included. You, we, you, you eat at this place here, we'll show it a little bit better later. The, the, the guy has built a little dam here on this little river and so there's an upper lake and a lower lake. You can take a canoe out and go both places. I'll, I'll walk on this bridge a little bit so you can see. Try not to kill myself. This is the upper lake here. We went out on the boat here yesterday and got out at the other end and took a hike up to an overlook that where you can kind of see the jungle. There's the falls and the, the river continues here. You see some ducks on the pond. It's very peaceful. Very peaceful place. We went on a couple of walks yesterday. I'm sure we'll go on more today. This is the last place that we're going to visit before we return to Rosario, our home base. Dave and Nancy will stay with, with us in Rosario for a couple of days and then they'll fly back to Helena. There's a little butterfly that's come into there are lots of butterflies here too, in addition to birds. In fact, yesterday we saw the largest butterfly in the world. No idea what the name was. It was a bird kind of 
strutting over there. I've seen a, a blonde crested woodpecker this morning, and then I've seen that one, and I've seen, well, there's lots of birds. Anyway, this is the main area here. There's a, there's a, 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 there's a biology research center located here. And there's a biologist from Buenos Aires that's resident here, a wildlife biologist. And uh, <clears throat> then there's a guy that manages it. He's also an environmental scientist of some, some kind. And uh, yeah, it's really quite a wonderful place. It's, it's in addition to being wild, it's you know, you can get a cold beer here and have dinner. All of these tables and chairs were handcrafted by the original owner who built this lodge. There's more tables through the, in the other room there behind. There's internet and Wi-Fi. Well, that's it. This is San Sebastian de Selva nature reserve. I think it's a weekend, Saturday, and uh, in March. March Madness is about to begin, and Michigan State got beat by Michigan in the second round of the Big Ten basketball championship. I was disappointed in that, so we'll find out tomorrow where they get placed for their... Here comes somebody. Maybe this is the cook. Okay, hope you enjoyed it. Ciao.